Well, good morning. It is Friday and you are at breakfast at Tracy's, literally at Tracy's. This is my house and I'm glad you joined me this morning. We are right at the tail end now of our series on grief and mourning and certainly that has been going on a lot with this whole COVID-19 thing. People are grieving losses in their lives and so I wanted to bring you some hope and talk about what you know the writers of the Bible had to say about grief. Now the story that we're looking at this morning may not be familiar to you. Samuel was a prophet and he had appointed King Saul as the first king of Israel. But Saul didn't work out so well. In fact, he really messed up big time. And God was going to replace Saul. And this really hurt Samuel's heart. Uh, as, as, as someone who was there when, when Saul took the throne, he sort of felt some responsibility. And that's where we pick up the story. And th- it says, God says something very, very interesting to Samuel. He says this, Now the Lord said to Samuel, You have mourned long enough for Saul. So fill your flask with olive oil and go to Bethlehem. Now, I won't read the rest of it, but basically he tells, he tells uh, Samuel, Look, you've mourned long enough for Saul. Now I've got some work for you to do. Go out and do it. Um, In other words, grief cannot stop life indefinitely. Now, this is admittedly very touchy. I even hesitated to bring this example forward. And yet at the same time, I think there's some real value here. Because I would not feel very confident going to someone and say, your time of mourning is over. In this case, it was God saying it, and God always knows best. So I'll leave that in his hands. The thing is, grief... When it grips us, it can paralyze people and it can take away uh, the normalcy of life. And here's God saying, you know what? Mourning is done with you uh, or or at least needs to diminish with you. You need to get back to your normal routines and self-care and helping others and work and relationships. I know this is, I know that there, there are some in our lives who, when we are grieving, they'll say, oh, just get over it. It's not that simple. Grief never ends. Grief never ends. Don't ever feel like your grief needs to end, but you do have to decide to decide when grief needs to become a part-time occupation and not a full-time occupation. And there's this shift that takes place. You need to just understand that even God here is saying, look, your grief can't take over your life forever. There comes a time where you need to let it become a part-time occupation and get back to some of your normal routine. God told Samuel, look, you need to get back to your job. You need to get working again. Yeah, you'll probably still be in grief, but in your grief, keep moving along. Keep moving forward. Uh, I'm not here to tell you how to feel or when your grief uh, needs to be done. And all of us have different levels. God knows best and I guess my prayer as I'm about to pray is that we would listen for that voice from God to say when it needs to become when our grief needs to become a part-time occupation rather than a full-time occupation let's uh let's pray about that very thing Lord I thank you that you even care I thank you that you care about our grief and that you cared about Samuel enough to say hey look Samuel you need to move on here. Help us to know the right time to invest in things that are not grief. Lord, help us to be patient with ourselves. Help us to be understanding. Help us to be understanding and patient with others when we think they should just get over it and they should just move on. Lord, may all of us, but especially those who are listening right now, may we listen carefully to your voice that is telling us It's time to move on. It's time to move on with your grief. Not to put it aside, but to move on with your grief. Lord, may we be sensitive to your spirit in this and sensitive sensitive to the people around us. May we have tender hearts and compassionate hearts towards others and towards ourselves. We thank you, God, that you are walking with us through this whole thing, that you will never leave us, you will never abandon us. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. And know 
that God is there to speak to you. So just take the time to listen to him today. God bless you.